if you notice that you're having a difficult time breathing through your sinuses, okay, or maybe you're snoring, this video is for you. I was doing some research on this topic and I found some fascinating information about a study involving random people and uh, their pillows. And I'm talking about microorganisms living in your pillow. Apparently they tested like random people, like, and they looked at the average amount of microbes that are in a pillow. And you might want to be sitting down for this because it's pretty shocking. They found an average several thousand spores of fungus. Now, what's a spore? A spore is like a dormant microorganism. They found several thousand spores just in one gram of pillow. And there's anywhere between four to 16 different species of fungus, especially if your pillow is made from synthetic material. Apparently, they also eat the dead skin from you as well as they pulling off the nitrogen from some of the waste. I mean, it's pretty disgusting. And this is a very frequent cause of rhinitis, like inflammation of the sinuses. And it can definitely worsen the respiratory area. And these spores get activated with moisture, like in your sweat, like in your drool, going to bed with your hair wet after you took a shower. And these spores can actually grow roots into the fibers of your pillow. There's actually four things you just need to identify. Number one, is there any type of colors on your pillow because these funguses give off different colors yellow brown purple green white number two moisture is your pillow wet apparently these microbes and spores can be activated within 24 hours are there odors like a musty odor coming from the pillow and also lastly if there's a sudden change in your mucous membranes like your breathing is altered and you notice that you're more stuffy now suspect a fungus. The very simple solution is to do this. Look on the tag on the pillow to identify the method of washing your pillow. Can you shoot it right into the wash or do you have to hand wash your pillow? Well, you want to wash your pillow at least every two years. And I'm being very sarcastic. You want to wash your pillow every month. And you want to make sure when you wash your pillow that you completely dry it, right? 100% dry it out so you don't have it moist because then it's going to be a breeding ground. As far as the pillow cases, I would recommend washing those every week. Now, I would also recommend replacing your pillow every single year. I mean, when I was in practice, I remember some people having these pillows for, I'm talking decades, okay? That's way too long. Anyway, I wanted to bring up this very, very simple solution to um, a problem that could exist and create a lot of issues for your quality of sleep, for your spouse's quality of sleep, and for your overall health. Now, since we're on the topic of sleep, if you want to know more about how to really get a good night rest, check out this video right here.